me again, teaching you some more things that you can do at home. And today it's going to be about working your back and your abs, basically your core. I'm going to say up front that all of these exercises are great for strengthening your back and your core. If you're looking for a six pack, the six pack comes in the kitchen and with your diet. And that's another video for another day. But this will strengthen your core, tone those muscles and give you great looking abs for the summer, but a good diet goes along with that. So let's get started. Um, some lower back exercises. If you have not, if you have any lower back issues, I would consult with your doctor first. But a good stretch, just um, stretch out your lower back, is just getting on all fours. And these are called cats and dogs. You're just gonna tuck under like a cat that's scared. And then let your stomach drop, stick your tail out and stretch. That would be the dog. These, you can do three or four, five times, 10 times. This is an extra stretch, extra exercise to, um, to warm up your, your core. Can't talk today. And then you can stretch back and do a child's pose. Some general back exercises that you can do to strengthen your back. Beginner would be relaxing the legs. Put your chin on your, um, on your knuckles and you're just gonna lift up and lift down. Lift up and lift down. More advanced would be the arms up in front of you. Lift up, lift down, lift up. You can do more advanced, we'd be doing both. I'm running out a little bit of room here. We'd be doing both at the same time. Lift up and lower. This is advanced. And then even more advanced is opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift and hold, lower. Lift and hold. Lower and after you do these exercises, you can do all of them or just one. I recommend uh, one to three sets, uh, 12 to 15 times. You can do the cats and dogs again and the child pose. Let's go right into abdominals. If you have no equipment at home at all, you can do basic crunches on the floor. I like to do them with my legs up in the air. I think it gives you better back support. A lot of people will arch their back trying to crunch up. So you can keep them in the air. You can rest your heels on a chair, on a thick ball or anything. Just make sure your knees are slightly forward so that back's down. Beginner would be tucked in chin and crunching up. I'm just using my abdominal muscles. More advanced, fan your hands, lightly uh, touch behind your ears. Use those abdominals to crunch up. Draw that belly button towards your spine. More advanced would be cross the arms behind and lift up and come down, lift up. To work the muscles in the obliques, you can put your hands behind your head, elbow down, come across, pinch that muscle in the obliques, and come back. You can do all one side, or you can alternate. So these are basic. Another one I like to do, this is more advanced, I call it hug extension. You hug your knees and extend. The most important thing is that that lower back let me show you the wrong way. This is wrong. See that hole under my back? You're going to hurt your back. So hug. The further up your legs are, the easier it is. The further down, the harder it is. You need to be able to keep that back down. So correct way is hug, extend. Stomach's in tight, back stays flat. Another one that you can do without equipment are bicycles. Again, the back stays flat. Fan the hands behind you, stomach in tight. You're gonna cross and cross. The lower the legs, the harder it is. If you find your back's popping up, uh, point your toes to the sky. If you're more advanced, lower down. Now, more advanced things that you can do if you have a fit ball, a lot of people have a fit ball at home. A quick fit ball lesson. Um, the ball should be firm. I use a 55 centimeter, I am 5'2". If you're 5'5 five five or under, you would use a 55 centimeter. The way to tell if it's correct, when you sit on the ball, you should be, your butt should slightly be above your knees. If you squish way down, your ball needs air. It needs to be firm. If you're 5'5", five 5'6", five, five, up to six foot, you'll need a 65 centimeter. Taller than over six foot, you'll need a 75 centimeter. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at five below. Fit balls are great to have at home. You can sit, sit on them at your desk. I used to when I worked. So um, 
I make sure the floor is sticky that you're on. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to tuck under, roll down. If you fi find yourself unstable, you can do this where uh, there's a wall in front of you and put your toes against a wall. Sometimes this alone is enough for people. Um, you can just do this and roll back up. This is beginner. Tuck under, roll down, and come up. If you're ready for more, cross your hands on your chest, crunch up, use those stomach muscles and crunch down. The further down you are, the further down your butt is toward the floor, you're going toward gravity. So that's the easier it is. The further back you go, the harder it is. Just like the floor, the farther away your limbs are from your body, the harder it is. This is advanced. One thing about the fit ball that I want to show you is a lot of people, their abs are weak, and this is what I see. Um, here, if you could show my lower back. They, see how my lower back is like this? If you try to crunch up, your abs are too weak. So I would recommend if you can't sit on the ball and you're doing this, this is wrong, you need to be able to tuck under and strengthen that core. If you cannot, I would start at the floor first. Um, you can also do obliques on the ball. You can go across and across. Excellent for the muscles in your waist. This will not reduce your waist. It will firm up the muscles in your waist. For those who are more advanced and they're like, I'm used to going to the gym, I need an ab workout, try one leg at a time. Crunch up, it's harder than it looks. It took me a long time to learn how to do this. And you can also do obliques. Come across, come across, and come across. Um, if you're really advanced, have that good strong core and want something a little bit more challenging, I call this ball grab. You put the ball between your feet, and again, this is advanced. Back needs to stay down. You're gonna grab the ball, lower down as far as you can, stomach in tight without that back coming up, crunch up, go back, head support. Crunch up and come down. This is advanced. Just a couple more things that you can do. You can either do this with or without the fit ball. Planks. Planks are great for your core. Um, beginner. On the elbows. This might be enough for you. Okay? Some people, even this. See if you can hold it. If you want more advanced, come off the knees and hold. You can hold this anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. I've trained a lot of people. If you have a mirror or someone who can look at you, this isn't going to help you very much, and this is dangerous. You need to make sure your body is straight and your core is in tight. Hold it 30 seconds to two minutes. If you're really advanced, let's add some movement. You can add toes to the side. You can add extensions. You can also come to the plank position for a little bit more advancement. Stomach in tight. Toes out. There's lots of things. You can pull your knee in. Anything to keep in that plank position. So planks are excellent exercise to do. Last thing, if you're lucky enough to have a BOSU at home, I do have a BOSU. Don't feel like you have to get one. You don't have to. But if you happen to have one, uh, you can do abs on the BOSU. Pretty much the, everything that you did on the ball, you can do. Make sure... The BOSU is not supposed to be as firm as a fit ball, but not squishy. You can see I have a little bit of give in this. So I can do crunches. Same thing as I showed you before. The further away your limbs are from your body, the harder it is. Again, I'm pressing my back into that ball, to that BOSU. You can do one knee in. You can do obliques. Hug extensions on here are advanced. Again, if you're too weak, if your back is arching like this, you're not ready for the BOSU. You need to be able to, I call it a dead bug, bug position. You need to be able to be in the dead bug position and hold it. That back needs to be flat and um, hips tucked under. You can do hug extensions on the BOSU. These are advanced. You can do bicycles, much more advanced. Just some of the things that you can do on a BOSU, last thing, you can do planks on here. Um, you can also do mountain climbers. You can do planks on the BOSU, legs apart. Again, make sure that back is straight. 
You can do mountain climbers. You can also do mountain climbers on the floor without the BOSU and get just as good of a workout. So all of these abdominal workouts, you can do you can do abs every day as long as it's not weighted. And we're not using any weights on here. Um, I would do at least two to three exercises every day, switch them up uh, one to three sets, I'd say 10 to 15 times. Challenge yourself, if you wanna go to 50, do it. Just make sure if you're feeling that lower back, your abs are saying we quit and my lower back's giving in. So, or doing the work and you don't want that. So anyway, there you go, good luck.